Duckweed is a fascinating aquatic plant that brings natural beauty and ecological benefits to your aquariums and outdoor ponds. Known for its fast growth and ability to improve water quality, duckweed is a favorite among aquarists and pond enthusiasts. Whether you're considering adding it to your setup or already have some thriving, we're going to walk through everything you need to know about duckweed. Duckweed is a tiny floating plant that thrives in freshwater environments. Its small, round leaves form a dense green mat on the water surface. Duckweed is highly adaptable, making it an excellent choice for aquariums, ponds, and even wastewater treatment systems. Some of the benefits of duckweed include natural filtration, where it absorbs nitrates and phosphates, reducing algae growth, fish shelter, by offering shade and protection for fry and small fish, nutritional value, serves as food for herbivorous fish, amphibians, and even livestock in outdoor ponds. It also has a certain aesthetic appeal, adding a natural lush green cover to aquariums and ponds. Like all aquarium plants, there are ideal conditions for duckweed. Duckweed is hardy, but for optimal growth, you need to provide the right conditions. Duckweed thrives under moderate to bright lighting. For aquarium setups, an LED or fluorescent light designed for plant growth should be sufficient. 8 to 12 hours of light per day is optimal. In outdoor ponds, natural sunlight is sufficient, but partial shade helps prevent overgrowth. When talking about temperature, duckweed grows best in temperatures between 60 and 85 Fahrenheit or 15 to 29 Celsius. It can survive mild temperature fluctuations, but may struggle in extreme heat or cold. From personal experience with this plant, I can even extend this Fahrenheit range to about 40 to 120, which is an insane weather tolerance range. When we're talking about water parameters, pH, it prefers neutral to slightly acidic like most plants, around 6.5 to 7.5. When talking about nutrient uptake, duckweed requires nitrates and phosphates to grow, but thrives in nutrient-rich water. Avoid excess nutrients to prevent unchecked growth. This is not very common with aquarium plants. It is a extremely fast grower and will quickly overwhelm your tank if you provide it enough nutrients. And then of course when talking about circulation, duckweed prefers minimal water flow. Strong currents kind of disrupt it as it is a floating plant. It'll cause it to clump and overlap on each other instead of spreading out. Duckweed doesn't require planting. Just place it on the water surface and it will naturally spread. Each plant reproduces asexually, forming daughter plants that quickly cover the surface. Start with a small amount, duckweed doubles in size in about one to two days under ideal conditions. Maintenance for duckweed is pretty straightforward. Duckweed grows fast, so maintenance is key to keeping it under control. Prune it regularly. This is a little bit different than how you normally prune aquarium plants. You do this by removing excess duckweed with a fine net or by hand, as overgrowth can block light for submerged plants and lead to oxygen depletion. Monitor your water quality. Duckweed absorbs nutrients, which can lead to nutrient imbalances or sudden die-offs if left unchecked. Test water parameters regularly and adjust as you see needed. 
Do your best to prevent overcrowding. Keep duckweed at 50 to 70% surface coverage to allow light penetration and maintain a healthy aquarium ecosystem. Snails and fish may eat duckweed, which is generally beneficial, but could hinder its growth if populations aren't balanced. Let's talk about a few common problems and solutions with duckweed. When we're talking about the problem of overgrowth, the solution is generally to regularly remove excess duckweed. Consider introducing herbivorous fish like cichlids, goldfish, or koi in ponds to naturally control its spread. Turtles also eat a duckweed if that is a pet you have. Problem, nutrient deficiency. Solution, ensure your aquarium or pond has sufficient nutrients but avoid over fertilizing. Problem, poor growth. Solution, check your lighting, water flow, and nutrient levels. Add a liquid fertilizer for aquariums if necessary. Let's review a couple FAQs about duckweed. Is duckweed suitable for beginners? Absolutely. Duckweed is a low maintenance and perfect for beginners. Just monitor its growth to prevent overpopulation. Can duckweed harm my aquarium? If left unchecked, duckweed can block light and lower oxygen levels. Regular maintenance prevents these issues. How do I dispose of excess duckweed? Compost it or use it as livestock feed. It's rich in protein and nutrients. My final thoughts on duckweed are that it's an excellent addition to aquariums and ponds, offering both aesthetic and ecological benefits. With minimal care, this hardy plant can thrive and contribute to a balanced aquatic ecosystem. Regular maintenance and monitoring will ensure it remains a valuable asset rather than a nuisance. Thank you guys for watching the video till the end. If you made it this far, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel or the video. And go check out our website, bishopaquatics.com. I have revamped it the past month or two where I have updated the stock and price of all my live aquarium plants and fish. I often make videos and talk about things I carry on the website and it's a great thing to support your independent aquarium enthusiasts as that's generally where you get the best bang for your buck on quality plants and fish. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day.